Speaking of in the fence. Ah, uh, y'all ready for our oh shit. I'm on that outer world train. As are a lot of people. So anyways, it's time for the Rally Deutschland. Our first uh asphalt rally since Monte Carlo. Hooray, we're on what, round nine? So Yeah. Anyways, thank you for the resub sob. And yeah. Bring this on the day of the Outer Worlds release. So Outer Worlds hype around the world. Heard it's pretty good. Heard it's really good even. Oh yeah. Anyways. For me, I'm a shithead. And instead of playing Outer Worlds, I'm playing a uh, 15 year old rally game. Well here we go. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can continue my consistent dominance of right. this championship. By dominance, I mean not necessarily winning every rally, but being up there, scoring points, all that good shit. Asphalt. Show you my asphalt. Wait a minute. As I slowly maybe attempt to wake up throughout this, uh, I guess, rally stream, I don't know. Maybe I'll never properly wake up. And I'll just be like, ooh, all groggy and shit throughout all of tonight's uh, rallies. Who knows? Fox cut to college football. <laughs> Oh, so they didn't even show the finish? Or did they show it on a different network? Did they go to like FS1 or something? Or fucking, I don't know. Toon Disney. Yeah, whoa. They just didn't. Fucking idiots. What fucking morons. <laughs> so I didn't even realize Fox had any NASCAR broadcasts at this part of the year. This is why, like, uh, online streaming. There's a godsend for racing. Not to deal with fucking network shit. And we're doing our usual um, losing time in the first stage. Shenanigans. Nothing new there. Ninth place, so nothing new there. Struck by. Struck. Ow! The use is stupid, but it's so hilarious. You can hit back. You can struck back. Struck. Ow! Oh, I'm on champ. Tank, I'm not even going to attempt to read that. You can do woo your ass ow out of here. Alright, anyways, um, eh. Typical first stage there. Lost, what, six seconds? So, no big deal. How about no? Okay. Yeah, they mad. Hopefully that will be a good shot for the nail thumb of the video. Hopefully. Anyways, here are the results of stage one. So Petter Solberg takes the early rally lead. We've got Schwartz in fifth. Alone Skoda in the points. Here I'm in ninth. 
Oh, Gardemeister, Tony, what happened? Oh. We're still we're still rooting for Skoda, by the way. That that's still very much a thing. Alright, anyways, let's let's go to stage number two. And uh actually have to like drive the car now since we're out of the easy stage. I said Schwartz, not shorts. Eat my shorts. Fucker. I don't know. Anyways. Stage two. Let's go. Hit that goal. I'm scored a number one. one. Yes. Three right and one right. Very much so. Ooh, it is. That reminds me, I need to add the fucking second gen Pokemon to the bits so they'll never get used because that's too many bits at once. But since I'm almost done with Crystal, you know. Very long straight into very long heavy left fence outside. Now, Skoda number one because Skoda. Uh, Kojo number two because four speed. Also, we're not talking about what just happened. Don't worry about it. Very long straight into <coughs> very long heavy just, right. just don't worry about it. The rust is real. Very long straight and K junction left. Long one left, eh. one two straight. Caution junction. You right. now you saw how well optimized that turn was. Long five right. Oh shit. Very long six left. Yeah, how well optimized this turn is. Alright, now's the part where I try to get my shit together, and, uh, maybe not lose as much time? Maybe? I am the, uh, the Tarmac Master, after all. Or something like that, I don't fucking know. Just a little, little parking area there. Six left and long four right into oh jungle. shit! Car is oversteering. Yeah, tarmac specialist. There we go. Right That's the official title. Right. The tarmac specialist. Six left. Three. Are you okay? No, I'm not, Phil. <laughs> I am not okay. I am screwing everything up right now. My brain ain't in it yet. Remember how to do this eventually, maybe, I hope. <laughs> oh, hi, Gengar. Are you spooky? I'm very spooky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like really oversteer on the tarmac. Oh, yeah, I right into two left. Chicane into long six left. Three left into my right over crest. Caution junction right. Yeah, oh god. Very long help. straight <laughs> into junction. I need help. Now. I can't drive car. Eventually, I'll figure this out. Shit. 
Oh, this is fine, Frank. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong here. See, I'm in 8th place, so I'm doing good. I'm in the points. Maybe. We're almost at the end of the stage. If I can regroup and uh, tackle the next stage, maybe actually gain some time. That'd be nice. Maybe not spin out a hundred times. <clears throat> That's such an awkward section right there. Finish line, Rothler. Boom. Hey, look at that. Green sector at the end of the stage. Let's go. I'll take that. After that absolute disaster of a stage, I will gladly take that. Look at that. Last two sector splits, same exact time. Let's go. No, Peter, it's still October. Not for long, though. It's not, it's gonna be November when this, like, edited version of this goes out. Or the segment. I don't know, fucking, whatever. Anyways. So I ended up fifth in this stage. Find Martin. Fucking Jean Luigi Galli, second in the Mitsubishi. The Mitsushitsi. The Shitsubishi. Hukabuka. I don't know. Short 7th, and Loeb is out. So I think... Yeah, Loeb was, like, tied for 2nd in the points, so, uh... There goes one of my com uh, closest competitors. I'm up to 5th now. Overall, so that's good. Just ahead of Schwartz. And, uh... My other championship rifle's just outside the points in Grunholm. So... Again, I don't need to win. I just need to be consistent, because they suck. Alright, stage three. Let's, uh... <clears throat> Let's try to have some semblance of pretending to know what I'm doing. Maybe. I hope. Here we go. Three, two, <clears throat> Page three, the Rally Deutschland. See big spook. Oh crap! I I oh, that's right, it's that. I'm like, wait a minute, what the hell is this turn? Oh, I know what this turn is. Literally just did it the other direction like a minute ago. Good start. Good start. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got dick in my throat. Oh, Frank, why you can't just surrender? Okay. Honestly, I'm surprised it's only plus four seconds after that little uh, incident. Hi, Harry. Straight into very long five right opens. Welcome to I forgot how to drive rally car. Very long been left. Slowly getting it back. I mean, it's only been what four days until I last touched this game. It's been a very long time since I've been on uh, not frozen tarmac. So you know. Hey, green sector, let's go. 
Oh shit, I actually made that, okay. I don't know how I made that, but I made it. Let's fucking go. Mini tree. It. No, I didn't make it. Found the fence, though. God damn it. It's fine. Nothing is wrong, Phil. Nothing at all. Switchbacks. I did so well at those last time. That's a lot of damage. Oh, another green sector. Let's go. Really like the gameplay of it was like. Yeah, pretty much, Harry. That's how I feel. Like, what's good, what's there is good, but it doesn't feel complete. Very long, straight into very long, six right fence outside. You know, like, there isn't really much, um, like, the game isn't really trying to get you to, like, go through the career. Like, they're not giving you any, like, determination. It's just, here's the events, okay. Hey, pig. Like, that's fine for, like, you know, a simulation-style racing game, but... I feel like since Grid is more more of an arcade game, I, I feel like they need something, like, throughout the career to will you on. Almost, Harry. Loot boxes. Literally everything Activision and EA does. And Blizzard. Hundred dollars a year for private servers that aren't actually private. You know. Uh, you've missed a whole half of Rally Pig. Alright, so another fifth place in the stage. Could have been better, but I still suck, so, you know, whatever. Fucking Galley, though. Where did Galley go? Look at him go. Oh, Gardemeister's out. Rip Skoda. And we got one more bullet in the gun. That's our boy Schwartz, who's down to 8th now. Oh no. And not really worried about the rest of, this, uh, rest of the standings. Grunholm's down to 10th, so he's still out of the points. And eh, that's all I got, so. You know. Yeah, it's not looking good at all for our Skoda boys, so... Let's move on to the second half of the rally and see if I can maybe recover a little more. Maybe get myself onto the podium. Maybe. I mean... Three, eh. two, one, go. I mean, I know one thing that needs to fucking be regulated by the government, and that's the whole loot box thing. Actually, just in-game purchases in general, not just loot boxes. Like, there needs to be very, like, strict parental controls that are also very easily, um, explained and activated. So even the laziest of parents can fucking figure this out. Raining very heavily. Grip is at a premium here. Three right over junction into long two right opens. Second to Martin, let's go. Very long one right over crest. 
to one right risk. and one left into long two right K outside. Very long three left. Oh no. Inside. I mean like the big I don't know how I made it through that little gap there between those rocks, but here we are. The, the thing I don't like about modern gaming, like the biggest problem for me is uh, one, companies creating a problem to sell a solution, so like having a game be super grindy and then sell you like, you know, time, time saver hacks and stuff like that. And, um... Also, um, Very long one right uh, one left, one two locking already completed features behind a paywall, right hand, despite them already right being done, rocks, or post-launch paywall. Left, you know, like how right Bethesda did with that scrap bot. Left, it's like, oh, that thing was completed right, before the release of Fallout 76, but they still waited straight. and then put it behind a paywall. Long one right. Also, I th I am 100% behind the fact, or behind the ideal that um, all all in-game content should be available through gameplay without a horrible grind. All content. By 76. Because, uh, because it's it centers around the people of Vault 76, Peter. Like the story behind it is Vault 76 was like the first vault to be uh, opened up after the nuclear apocalypse or whatever, and um, it was also on like the 300th anniversary, uh, or like three or f yeah, 300th anniversary of the United States, like becoming its own country in 1776, you know, 76. Yeah, a company is being publicly traded, like, okay, I understand, but, like, it's, there's too much, um, influence from people who have absolutely nothing to do with gaming. They're just, they they own, like, you know, stock in the company because money, not because of game. Game dev tycoon. Clearly. Thing is, it's not like all gamers, A, want to be in the stock market, B, have the money to put themselves in the stock market, Harry, so... It's not like fucking little Timmy can put his final 12 cents into Bethesda stock or something. Yes, I know they're private private right now, but shut up. I'm using this as an example. But, you know. Anyways, finished second that stage to Martin, so hey. Oh, look at the Mitsubishis go. I'll say more. Yeah, I know, but the thing is, there's, like, that would be nice, but there's not a lot, I don't think, of people who want... Oh, both of the Citroens are out. Fucking rip. Science and Loeb are gone, and I'm on the podium, and we have three Mitsubishis in the points. Ow. Is this their time? Is this what they, uh, what their cars were designed for this season? The tarmac rallies. Because, uh, we got three of them in the points. Alrighty then. I don't know. I don't, I don't claim to know the solutions. I'm just saying what I think. And, you know, 99.99% .99 of the time, I'm always wrong. So I'm probably wrong about this, too. Scotty Mac just fl oh my. Well then. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Very long, straight. Over junction. Wide right into junction right. Don't cut. 
I don't know. It's, it's hard to, like, think about stuff like that, because you have to think on the side of A, being pro-consumer, and B, also allowing the studios to make money. To survive. Like, obviously, you know, things like what EA, Activision, Bethesda are doing are way over, like, stepping over the bounds. But still. Oh, damn, that sucks, game. That's the, uh, what is that, the second race of the Gold Coast, right? It's only a two race format, right? Two 300k races? Am I stupid? Correct, okay. I, go, I, can't, I can't ever remember what the freaking uh, endurance format is in the supercars outside of Bathurst. That's the thing. There's, there's like, a big difference between DLC and expansions. Like, stuff like what CD Projekt Red have done with Witcher 3, that's good. Those are expansions. But, like, it's just like, uh, you know, fucking, here's, spend five dollars on these, like, you know, cosmetic skins. Like, what? Remember when everyone went up on an ar uh, went in the uproar because Bethesda dared to um, sell horse armor and I think it was Oblivion for like two and a half dollars. And now in 2019 that would be considered a great deal. I mean, the entire event is, they, they kind of advertise it like the Endurance as like the entire event, because like, they uh, they advertise it as the Gold Coast 600, not like, you know, Gold Coast 300 times 2 or something. Plus the fact that they have the, the co-drivers format, so, you know, for their Endurance races. Anyways, another second place in the state, or er, second place stage. Take that. Woo. Not bad, not bad. Turn mods into DLC. They've been doing that since they rolled out the Creation Club. Whatever fucking stupid thing they did during uh, Skyrim. Where it's like, we're gonna sell mods. We're gonna sell other people's work. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, nothing really new to report with those stage results. Still third, six seconds behind Galley, and I uh, got a good gap on Panizzi. Schwartz is back down to eighth, so he's still in the points at least. Grunholm's still out of the points, and Solberg and Hirvonen are trying. <laughs> That's all I can say is they're trying. All right, so we got what two uh, two stages left? Oh no, this is the final stage. Okay. Shows how much I've been paying attention to this rally, because I've been too busy talking about the state of gaming in 2019 and how shit it is. It's time for the final stage. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Cam. Like, I understand adding post-launch content and, you know, trying to make money off of the extra work. That's fine. In, you know, as long as you don't overcharge for it, of course. But... Deliberately creating a problem with your game so you can sell the solution later, that's a problem. Oh, I'm paying attention. I thought the 4 right was before the junction because I'm an idiot. Alright, well I might lose a podium spot here. But, uh, but yeah. Plus, I don't really like this whole season pass thing. Maybe it's because I'm a piece of shit. Or like seasons thing in gaming. 
I don't know. I think I'm just too much of a fucking purist old man idiot to get behind the whole games as a service uh, thing. Like, I consider games like kind of, I guess, I don't know. I don't know how the way, what other way I can say it other than consumable. Like, I want to play a game, spend, you know, you know, two to 20 hours on it, finish, beat the game, feel satisfaction, and then move on to the next game. I don't want to spend, you know, the next several years of my life grinding out the same video game over and over and over and over again with maybe small changes and additions over time. But I, that's more of a preference thing than anything. That's one reason why I've I still haven't bought Horizon 4, because it's more of like a... Uh, like, I just, I just want to do, like, just the base content. Like, I don't want to feel like, oh, hey, here's a bunch of daily and blarga, 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 you know, live service events. I'm just like, look, I just, I just want to play the, the game. I don't want to feel like I, when I beat the game, I haven't actually beat the game. Basically. It's like, oh, hey, beat the campaign, you did all the, the Goliath stuff. Anyways, I saved shit into the fourth. So I'm gonna finish on the podium still. A little burning train wreck in a lot of areas. Yeah, I kind of give iRacing the benefit of the doubt. Well, yeah, they, they fuck up some things. And again, yeah. I don't really know what to say about iRacing other than I need to get back into it. I know that. major competitors. I mean, there's our factor And that's about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. We've had a... Oh my good... Oh my goodness. Hey, guys. Quick question. Who is second place heading into the stage? If you said Jean-Luigi Galli, you would be correct. Guess who didn't make it to the end of this stage? Mm. And also Hirvanen. And also Christian Soul. Three! Three cars retired in this stage. Three cars. My god. Well. That promotes me up to second, so I get an extra two points to add to my lead. Marco Martin dominates the rally, won by 49 seconds in the end. Good God. Gil we still have two of the Mitsubishis, though, in the points with Gilles Panizzi and Daniel Sola. And Duval sixth. Armin Schwartz gets two points for Skoda. And because of all the retirements, Grunholm gets uh, put into the points by default. So he gets one point. And then just the graveyard. My god. That is... It ain't over till it's over. That's all I have to say. Ridiculous. Oh, uh, silly shit. Silly shit. Alright, so here are the updated points. So Marco Martin moves his way back into second with his win and the fact that Grunholm and Loeb um, were at the bottom. Loeb didn't even finish. Grunholm got a point, so there's that. So I ended up still extending my lead to now 34 points. Three rounds! Yay! And there's the rest of the points. Solaz is on the board, so now the only driver who has not scored a point yet this season is Hirvanen. And something tells me I don't think he's going to score any points, because he's kind of shit. <laughs> Big fat zero for Citroen. <laughs> still holding on to second, though. Still holding us on to second, and Skoda's still holding on to the fourth, so that's cool. So, 
gain another big advantage in the uh, manufacturer standings as well. So that's cool. So that was Germany. Um, yeah, that's all I got.